The state of Texas ranks last in access to mental health care, an issue further stressed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The, the COVID pandemic has led to a lot of isolation and has been a stressor for families, has led to uh, uh, deaths and family loss and bereavement, and all these things have increased uh, rates of depression. Dr. James Butler, Regional Medical Director for Oceans Healthcare Texas, says rural communities are among those lacking sufficient mental health resources. One main roadblock. Accessibility. Um, you know, so when most people think about mental health, they think inpatient psychiatric hospitalization. And really, the, the trend is moving away from that. And moving toward alternative treatment options, like the new intensive outpatient program at Ocean's Behavioral Health. This is a program in, in Amarillo specifically that treats uh, individuals 18 and over. And we place them in, in large uh, group therapy. Uh, we work with each individual through our treatment team to sort of in uncover individual problems. So how does it work? You don't have to be in crisis. Um, you just have to be somebody that's seeking mental health services, either depression, anxiety, um, a transition in your life, such as divorce. You would get uh, an evaluation. And then? They would pinpoint issues that, that you may have uh, and address those. Uh, and the way those are addressed is through uh, therapy and a combination of medication if you want it. Because in the end, it's all about... To really bring accessibility for behavioral health care to areas that are underserved. In Amarillo, Rochelle Hamilton Jr., KAMR, Local 4 News.